Hi everybody, this is Mr. Skelsey, and you are in Mr. Skelsey's kitchen. And we're gonna be trying to do some science lessons on uh, YouTube, so if you're on YouTube right now, I, I guess this is working. So, um, just wanna say hi to some people. Uh, Deanna, Addie, Riley, Evan, Layla, Aiden, Deanna, Izzy, Joseph. Uh, Gianna, Owen, Albert, Gage, Mason, Lucas, Penelope, Brady, and Jordan. I know that's not everybody, but as we're doing these, hopefully I will name more people to say hi to. So, um, just want to say, I know there's a lot going on. We're not at school. It might be a little scary right now, but don't be too scared because there's a lot of smart people out there who are scientists making sure that we figure out this problem of COVID-19 and uh, so the first thing I want to do is show you guys a hand washing lesson and it should only last 20 seconds so I'm gonna walk over here to the sink and show you how to wash your hands correctly and then I'll explain to you why we wash our hands at my sink and I'm gonna show you how to wash your hands correctly. Now, I said I was gonna tell you why it's important. Well, viruses do not like soap and water, and it only takes 20 seconds for soap to break the little barrier for viruses to kill them, which that's what we wanna do because we don't wanna get sick. And your main thing is washing your hands. It's gonna take 20 seconds, and they always say, do 20 seconds or sing happy birthday, but I happen to have my assistant here who's gonna bring a clock over. I just happen to have a clock. Bring it on over. This is my son, Shane. Hi. And he's gonna start the clock once I start washing my hands. Remember, we're gonna wash our hands for 20 seconds, okay? And you can't really start till you start scrubbing and getting your hands. The first thing I'm gonna do before he starts the clock, I'm just gonna get him wet. Make sure the water's not too hot, not too cold. Just want it nice and cozy, I guess. Okay, got my hands wet. I am pumping the soap into my hands. Okay, I'm soaping it up. Oh, go ahead, you can start. Yeah, there we go, and I'm gonna sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Whoever, happy birthday to you. And I need to go a couple more. Ah, 20 seconds. Look at that. Clean, 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 clean. Gonna rinse those bad boys off. There we go. Uh, just to make you guys feel a little more at home, I brought a little bit of my science room back to my home. And you guys, I know this is one of your favorite things is the mysterious balance bird, but I also brought Yoda. What do you got to say, Yoda? Mm, always do. There are. Thank you for that information. Anything else? Hard to see the dark side is. It is hard to see the dark side. So I'm just going to take the balance bird and put him on top of Yoda's head. Will that work? It does. Cool. One more, Yoda. Oh. Get back up there, bad little bird. Okay, now, I brought some other friends. I brought JJ, oops, <laughs> I brought JJ the Draft. How you doing? And I brought Mr. Bananas. Hey, Mr. Bananas, how you doing? How you doing? I'm good, I'm in my kitchen. I know, I saw bananas over here. I'm gonna, no, leave the bananas alone. And I brought Tom, Tom the Tiger, the friendliest tiger you know. Tom, Tom the Tiger, he'll try to bite your toe. Okay, and then here's Iki the Elephant. Hello, Iki, how you doing? Good, I'm doing good, got some penis. I got no penis, so just back off, Iki. Okay, so, brought some stuff here so you guys feel good about, hey, Mr. Skelsey's got his stuff, and I'll be bringing more stuff out. But you know what I said earlier about doctors and scientists and nurses, everyone's working together so we can get through this, so we can get back to school one of these days and uh, be right back in my cool science room. So I brought uh, the body home with me too. Hopefully I can bring him over here. Here we go. Oh, saw his butt. Okay, there we go. And uh, you know, the, the one thing that you got to remember in science, all science starts with our five senses. 
So we got our eyes, our nose, tasting, hearing, touching, smelling. So I think that was five. Let's see. Hearing, seeing, smelling, tasting, and then touching is the whole body. Wherever we have skin, wherever we have nerve endings. And, you know, we learn about the world around us through our five senses. Okay, it doesn't matter what it is. That is the beginning of, of science, basically. So I want you guys to remember that, you know, and I know you guys like to take this apart and put it back together in my classroom, which is fine. And you'll notice I did some upgrades on them. I actually fixed the lung so it doesn't fall off anymore. And uh, what else here do we got on my list? So we're... You know, we, we talk about washing our hands, we're learning about the world around us. My next lesson, I thought, well, what can I do that you guys can do at home? Because I want you to be able to do stuff at home too. Um, and I thought, well, what can I do? What can I do? And the first thing that I thought of was magnets. Okay, magnets. Okay, so what do we gotta know about magnets? What is a magnet? A magnet is, uh, magnetic force. We can't see the force, but we know the force is working. Like Yoda said, feel the force. Feel the force. So what are we going to do? Look, I brought a bunch of these little BBs. And we're going to see how this works. First thing I'm going to do is take my magnetic wand. Alright, so well, let's see if these work, and they do, and they're magnetized. Well, they're not magnetized, but they're attracted to the magnet. And these have to have iron in it. Magnets are only attracted to iron. Now I'm looking for things that aren't magnetic, so what do I have? Some money. Look at that. Non-magnetic. But here's a little cool thing. If you happen to have Canadian nickels, for example, Watch what happens. Oh, Canadian nickels must have iron in them, but American does not. So we know that some stuff is magnetic. Let's try my toaster here. No, it doesn't stick because it's stainless steel. And then if I walk over to my refrigerator and I try it on my refrigerator, same thing. Okay. You'll notice I have no pictures, nothing. But if you look over at my other board, off in the corner, we have a whole wall that I put up some iron sheeting for our pictures and magnets. So magnetism is something that you can do at home. You can find a magnet at home. For a lesson, you can just walk around your house and test different things. See if you got some Canadian money. See if you can get it to get attracted. Now, um, Oh man, there's Mr. Factoid over there. I think he's gonna come over here and give us a fact. Hey, how you doing? It's good to say hi, Mr. Bananas. Hi, Mr. Factoid. Hi, Mr. Bananas. Uh, what's, what's in your hand? What is that? I have a book of science facts. I love science facts, but I love bananas better. Ooh, ah, ah. So, what are you gonna talk about in that Factoid, Mr. Factoid? Well, did you know that the Earth's magnetic field is created in part by the spinning motion what? of its molten iron core? The core acts like an electrical generator, creating a magnetic current that encircles our planet. Is this all in that book? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nothing about bananas, but that's okay. Okay, thanks, Mr. Factoid. No problem, Mr. Bananas. Okay. Oh, st social distancing. Oh, my bad. Okay, bye. I got this neat little science activity, and um, all I did is I took a paper clip, and I tied it to some thread, okay? And I'm gonna take my magnet, magnetic wand here, and this is called the flying paper clip. So first I'm just gonna kinda Oh, yep, it's attracted. Now, I want to see if I can get this to work. Very slowly pull it away. Oh, let's try it one more time. Slowly pull it away. Oh, ah, it flew for a minute. Let's see here. Ah! Takes a little practice. There we go. 
All right, cool. So that's a flying paper clip. That's one you can try it at home to and amaze your friends with some science. All righty. Next, we're going to be talking about um, the season change that just happened on Friday, the vernal equinox. And um, I've got my little model here to show you. So, All right, so the vernal equinox um, <clears throat> is really about the first day of spring. And if you listen carefully to the last word, equa, Nox, you can hear the word equal in there, equinox. Vernal, meaning 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. I'm gonna plug in my um, little globe here. The light, I changed the light bulb out. Another little repair. And here we are. So this is lined up to March 20th. And this is showing us that we are getting 12 equal days of, or 12 equal hours of night 12 equal hours of day. It's only on that day. Now what happens is the earth moved a little bit and the day's getting a little bit longer. And then if we come all the way over here to the first day of summer, and if you look at Michigan, we're getting all this direct sunlight, okay? It's gonna be warmer, the days are gonna be longer. And as our planet orbits the sun, that's like the, um, autonomal equinox. Now you hear equinox again, so that means 12 hours a day and night, and now the days are getting shorter, 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 first day of winter, and it all starts over again. This has been going on for billions and billions of years, and as long as there's an earth and a sun and gravity, this is gonna keep rolling on. So that just happened on Friday. Check your calendar. I think one, my, one of my calendars said Thursday, but I'm pretty sure it was Friday. So that's the vernal equinox. And that kind of wraps it up for right now, guys. I just want to say hang in there. Uh, we're here for you. And um, I'm going to try doing more of these if I can, if my director lets me. And um, I just want to say, you know, to all those doctors and nurses, and I know we have doctors and nurses at Fox Elementary, we love and appreciate you guys. And uh, we know it's, it's very, very hard right now, but, you know, you're doing everything you can to keep us healthy and safe, and we appreciate that. So I'll see you next time. See you later, guys. Love you. Bye.